those who take steps. And those who make the great leap forward. Those who stay as they are. And those that become more than they ever thought possible. They discover. Explore. Compete. And are fearless. There are those satisfied by common pursuits. And those for whom the extraordinary will never be enough. So ask yourself. Will you step? Gentlemen, this is the Xbox E3 2015 briefing. Please welcome from 343 Industries, Bonnie Ross. Thank you. <laughs> On behalf of everyone here at Xbox, it is an honor to welcome you to E3 2015 and to continue the tradition of what this show has always been about. The characters, the games, and the stories that people love. In 2015, we are delivering the greatest. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of Xbox, Bill Spencer. Thank you. Good morning and welcome. Investing in and shipping new exclusive franchises is critical to our platform's success. We're proud to partner with Inafune San, Mark Pacini, and the teams at Comcept and Armature Studios to create ReCor, an exclusive new first party franchise for Xbox One. At Xbox, our mission is simple, to put you, the gamers, at the center of everything we do, to build the best platform and most reliable service for both gamers and developers, and to enable teams to push the boundaries of creativity, technical innovation, and of course, fun. Today, you will see how we're continuing to invest and innovate for gamers across our platform, our service, our devices, and of course, our games. Anchored by first party exclusives, we'll see a lineup of games from creators, developers, and publishers of all sizes that show the breadth, depth, and diversity of the games you will get to play on Xbox. These games make up what I believe is the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. Since the launch of Xbox One, we've listened to you, the community of Xbox gamers, and we're grateful for your continued feedback. We continue to deliver monthly platform feature updates that enhance your gaming experience, and your response to the updates continues to motivate us. Last year, the team decided to tackle a feature that has been consistently at the top of your request list. And while we weren't sure it was possible, today, I'm pleased to announce Xbox One backward compatibility. Your Xbox 360 games, the games you've invested your time and money in, and the games you want to continue to replay 
will be playable natively on your Xbox One. Our goal is to deliver the largest games catalog ever on Xbox. And Xbox One backward compatibility allows us to do just that. Please welcome Mike Ibarra, head of our platform engineering team, to show us Xbox One backward compatibility in action. Mike. Please welcome the Chief Operating Officer of Electronic Arts, Peter Moore. Good morning. Always great to be here on the Xbox stage, kicking off E3 with my friends and partners from Microsoft. And such exciting news from Phil that we'll be able to bring some favorite EA titles from the Xbox 360 platform to players on Xbox One via backward compatibility. Now that's going to be a lot of fun. Now as you know, in the last year, we built a great new service in EA Access on Xbox One. It helps you do three simple things. Play first, play more, and play for less. It's the best of EA for five bucks a month only on Xbox One. I know a lot of you out there are excited to play our next big title, Madden NFL 16, when it launches on August the 25th. Go Madden. But with EA Access, you'll be the first to play starting on August the 20th. The same goes for Need for Speed and all of our other upcoming titles. With EA Access, you're going to get to play EA's newest releases before anyone else. Members also have unlimited exclusive access to The Vault, the constantly growing collection of EA's biggest and best games for Xbox One. All of these titles you see behind me are ready to download and play as much as you want, whenever you want. And it's about to get even better because this week we're dropping a titan on it. Titanfall is joining the EA Access Vault this week. We'll start the summer, yep, we'll start the summer with Titanfall and then you can end it in the world of Thedas, because later this summer we're bringing the epic Dragon Age Inquisition to the EA Access Vault on Xbox One. Now let's not forget, EA Access members also get 10% off in the Xbox Store on full game downloads like FIFA 16, in-game content, like FIFA Ultimate Team Packs, or the latest expansion in Battlefield. For all of you out there that would love to play first, play more, and play for less, Come give EA Access a try. In fact, we're going to help you out with that. This week, in celebration of E3, we're opening up the EA Access Vault to all Xbox Live Gold members. That's right, all 12 titles. Just download the EA Access app on your Xbox One and play as much as you want for free all week long. Now, on its 50th anniversary, the GT is back, and its racing legacy lives up. Developed in a secret studio beneath Ford's engineering center, the GT's rebirth has begun. Stunning the world at the 2015 Detroit Auto Show. And in 2016, set to return and reclaim its place amongst the legends of Lamar. This is what we've been racing for. Ladies and gentlemen, from Ford Motor Company, Henry Ford III, and from Turn 10 Studios, 
Dan Greenewald. Welcome back, Bill Spencer. It's great to have Gears of War back on our Xbox stage, to see Gears of War, War gameplay running real time on Xbox One, and to see my friend Rod Ferguson at the helm. Today, we showed you the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. New and innovative games that speak to the boundless creativity from studios around the world. Blockbuster franchises you know and love, trailblazing independent games from a new wave of creators who are redefining game development and game play, all anchored by the best exclusives on any platform. Xbox is the only place where you can play Gears of War, Fable Legends, Forza Motorsport 6, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and of course, Halo 5 Guardians all this year. This lineup is supported by Xbox Live and our commitment to make your gaming experience better. With an expanded library of games with backward compatibility, new gaming hardware and accessories, access to great games first with EA Access, next generation virtual and mixed reality gaming experience, and access to games in early development with the game preview program. There truly has never been a better time to be an Xbox gamer. If you've been waiting to move from your Xbox 360, now is the time. Today, we've shared only a fraction of what's coming to Xbox One and Windows 10 this holiday and next. We have more surprises in store this week on the Xbox Daily Show, including the unveil of a whole new Xbox One user experience and more new games coming to Xbox One. This summer, we look forward to bringing exciting features from Xbox Live and some of our most popular Xbox games and experiences to Windows 10 when it launches this July 29th. And at Gamescom in August, you'll see the latest from Quantum Break, Scalebound, Crackdown, and new first-party game reveals. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's your expectation, your dedication, and your passion for games that motivates and inspires not only me, but every single member of Team Xbox. Thank you.
I'm a gameplay programmer. I'm the art director. Principal game designer. Concept artist. Audio director and sound designer. At id Software. Arcane Studios. Tumble Game Lux. For Bethesda Game Studios. Battlecry Studios. Machine Games. Cinemax Online Studios. It's been here for about two and a half years. Six years. Two, three months now. Nine years. We all love video games. I've played games since I was a kid. It's actually hard to imagine getting paid for this sometimes. Knowing that we're making something really cool, that's what gets me up every day. We make the games that we want to play. I like getting players thinking. I love the chance to create. To try new ideas. To bring new monsters to life. To excite people. To build new worlds. To make something awesome. Something that people will love for the fun a sense of discovery the story something that'll inspire people make them laugh hopefully get their adrenaline pumping a little bit smile their face is just like oh my god scream and they go like this Ugh. or cheer it's why we do what we do i'm super excited about e3 it is go time if we're lucky if we're doing it right we have something special here our hearts are kind of on the line it's been a long journey <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cool now it's time to show you the whole world everyone what we're making we're ready for our close-up i'm so ready i'm crazy the question is are you are you are you ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm definitely ready i can't wait let's do this let's go it's finally time for the bethesda e3 showcase hit it hit it hit it Ladies and gentlemen, Global Vice President of PR and Marketing for Bethesda Softworks, Pete Hines. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Good evening and welcome to Bethesda's first ever E3 Showcase. I, ha I have to tell you that that video still gets me a little choked up because it represents the hundreds of people that I'm here on stage representing tonight, the talented folks from our studios all over the world who work hard every day towards a common goal, to make great games. We're all excited to welcome you here tonight to kick off E3. We're in this amazing venue, the Dolby Theater, you know, best known for the Oscars. On this very stage, the, some of the best names in entertainment have received the highest honor. We aren't here to hand out statues, but we are gonna have a celebration of our own, complete with blood and guts and a bunch of stuff blowing up. I think, you're gonna, I think we're going to have a lot more fun than them. Thank you all for being here with us. We put this show on for you to show the whole world what we're up to and what's coming from Bethesda over the next year. There's also a lot of folks joining us on YouTube and Twitch right now. So hello to all of you, wherever you are in the world joining us. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, welcome also to my colleagues from Bethesda and all of our studios who are here in attendance tonight. Thank you guys for being here as well. As well as all of our colleagues who couldn't be here and are watching online and then stayed up till the middle of the night in Europe. We have our friends down in Sydney who had a special party with the fans just to tune in and watch. So hello to all of them. Uh, welcome to all of our retail partners who are here members of the press, our supporters, friends, and last but not least, our fans. We truly believe we have the best fans in the world. They're loyal, they're smart, and they're passionate about games. They share our passion for great games. And that's what we're here to do tonight, to talk about games. So let's get right to it. Are you ready? Yeah! 
I assume that some of you in the audience have heard of a game called Doom before. Thanks again, everybody. I really, really, we really hope you love the game. Thanks again. Not that I should have to ask, but I can, can I please get another round of applause for that man? That boy knows how to make a game and give a demo. Uh, just a reminder, you don't need to wait to get your Fallout fixed till this fall. Uh, Fallout Shelter will be available right after the showcase is over. You can find a direct link to it on our blog. We'll also be putting it out over all of our social media channels, so we hope you'll take a moment to download it and give it a try. We think you guys will like it. And now we really have come to the end of the show. Um, you just got to look at what is coming from Bethesda in the next year, and there's still more to come from our other studios. We are always trying to push the boundaries of what players can expect from our games wherever they play them, and we think this lineup has something for everyone. From The Elder Scrolls to Fallout, from Doom to Dishonored, we hope these are the games that people will be talking about and playing for years to come. Before we wrap up, one more thing. We've created something special to commemorate our first showcase and to thank all of you for helping us make it such a big success. Take a look. Where is he? Come on out. It's okay. You can, you can bring your friends out. Come on, guys. There they are. So you can pick up your set of figures uh, on the way out tonight. I got, I got to be honest, I, I feel like that's a mixed reaction. If you don't want it, it's fine. You can just leave it there. <laughs> now, for those of you at home on Twitch, do not despair. We did set aside some of these for you guys. We are going to be giving them away on the post show with Adam and Morgan. So stay tuned to find out how you can win of one of these. Also on the post show, you'll get more details about everything you heard tonight, plus exclusive conversations and interviews with Marty, Todd, Roth, and Harvey. So stay tuned. Okay. That's it, folks. We hope you enjoyed our first ever E3 showcase. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Mass Effect Andromeda from our storytellers at Bioware. Welcome everyone to our show here at the Shrine Expo Hall in Los Angeles. Thanks to those of you watching on our live stream and thanks to our audience here with us today. We're joined by players from our community, journalists from around the world and our colleagues and partners from our great industry.
Star Wars Battlefront coming November 17th. That's our show for today. For those of you here in LA, we'll see you at our booth where everything is hands-on and ready to play. If you're joining us on the web, visit livetoplay.ea.com where we'll have more behind-the-scenes content and stories. Thanks to all of our awesome teams, thanks to Palais, and thanks to all of you for joining us. Have a great show, everyone, and wherever you are, we hope you make some time to play. Thank you. The king has risen, and in his reign the kingdoms of human and elf are united. The relic which threatened to destroy all was cast out to sea, seemingly forgotten. But now a new foe has awakened, the relic reclaimed, and what was once a powerful union lies fractured throughout the lands. All right, who put the stick of truth in the toilet? That is not funny, this is a holy relic! That was barely even an RPG, Cal. The combat sucked. We're going to do it bigger, and we will settle for nothing less than a 9-5 on GameSpot. A dark sorcerer has emerged. Who is it? Tell us, great mage of Xantros. Oh, man, I have no idea what's going on right now. We're under attack, and the new kid is stuck in a dream level. No, no dream levels. This game has to be sweet, lad. Show yourself, villain. Ha-ha! <laughs> Your superpowers are no match for me. Tune in, friends. Tune in, friends. Ah, oh, shit, we got the wrong game. Everybody switch games, we're playing superheroes now. Coon Fritz, go! We're not playing games anymore, ma'am. This time, it's serious. South Park, the fractured but whole. <laughs> now available for pre-order. Yeah, <laughs> everyone pre-order, that's a good idea. Shut up, buddy! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome two of my favorite human beings in the entire world, Matt Stone and Shrey Parker. First of all, I'd just like to say that these mics are fucking dumb.
of insane, immersive, cinematic, open world gameplay that you come to Ubisoft for. I know you felt that all in your bones. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our show. Thank you so much for coming out today. Thanks to everybody watching at home. Stay tuned for the live post show. We're going to chat with all of today's speakers. If you're in Los Angeles, check out our booth and the Uplay Lounge to see Ghost Recon in action. And if you're not in LA, check out Ubisoft.com for exclusive E3 insider access. Be sure to join our social media conversation by using the hashtag UBE3. We want to hear from you, and we mean it no matter how painful or crappy your tweets. My name is Aisha Tyler. This is Ubisoft. Play on! You will bring death to all who follow me. I never asked you your name. My name is Max. They will feel my wrath.